Hi, it's Anthony from okplay.com and today we're checking out a accessory for the Quest, uh, the Halo Strap from GoQuest VR. Um, so this is what you get basically. It's uh, all plastic and foam materials and uh, the Quest basically you have to remove all the straps and you basically attach uh, these side arms onto the side arms of the Oculus Quest and your forehead rests on this part here uh, without any, th any sort of strap over the top and then this is a way to adjust the, uh, the strap to your uh, head. So the idea being is this goes on your forehead, you then bring this over the top, attach it, and you're good to go. So I've not actually fitted the actual halo strap yet on onto my Quest, so in the next uh, few minutes or seconds, you'll see a quick speed run of how I've gone about installing it. And I'll come back here and tell you exactly, was it a smooth process or, um, and what I find of the uh, halo strap on, if it, is it comfortable, basically. So let's get going. So here we have our Quest. Uh, that you'll know of and we're basically going to have to start removing the side, the top and the side straps and um, and then once we've got those removed we can actually then introduce the halo strap. So side by side sort of comparison, um, it's a little bit smaller I guess but what's going to happen is that this will basically sit up on this end and then these um, hooks here will literally attach onto this side wall here. So let's get this fitted and, uh, and get it going. So, instructions. So first we need to remove the original headwear. So in theory, we need to unscrew this and then we need to pull um, this kind of like almost Velcro-like material through the um, actual strap arms. So in a way this is gonna be, I won't be coming back from applying this. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. One. So they've got a slight little uh, catch there that you really have to pull on for it to uh, come completely out. And this is almost like a, a bungee cord, you can see. So uh, that's what we're pulling at. So it, that does take some getting used to. So we have to force this through. And then, and then yank it off. So that's the two straps removed and then now we're going to take and feed through this original top strap which again because of the velcro it's a little bit tough you have to feed the velcro through okay and we're off. So that's the piece removed. And now we apply the strap hook face up and pull down on the top of the helmet. So we've got this um, top strap, which we will apply. So this is like a, uh, you've got some Velcro here on uh, two sides and then this bit we've got a M3 sticker transfer material and that's got Velcro on it too. I think we can probably take that off. So we've got an M3 sticker adhesive uh, with Velcro on one end and then you've got a top strap here on the other end. So let's figure out what 
we do here. So I believe we feed So we put it through the top hook, this top spot, uh, with the um, the hook loops. These um, this section here, because so we've got uh, this is the loop material, and then you've got the hook material, which is a bit more shiny. Um, and we put this hook material um, face up. And we're going to put it through the headset, which is going to be a bit tricky. But there is a curvature there. So it's all about maybe giving this a bit of a bend, just so that it gives us a bit of help. So we just bend it slightly. And then we hook it around and see if it, yeah, follows around, which it does. Great. Bit of force, and then we've, we've got this band through this bit here, which basically illustrates uh, this diagram here, where you see it come over, down, and then it's facing up like that. So that is a good start. Oh, no. No, that's correct, actually. These little sticky tabs are getting in the way. Right. So we uh, put the strap hook face up and pull down from the top of the helmet to adjust it. So you would have thought that this material, this logo, would be on the outside, which I guess it might be, because once you sort of do that, and that's on the top of your head, like that, and then this is coming down the back, so that's probably how it's meant to, meant to work. You don't have to use this strap. Um, so now we fix the ears, so these, these parts here, the ears, on both sides of the head rig, to the helmet, support rod, adjust the distance back and forth and complete the installation. So as this is at the top of the display, we basically slide, so we can see here, so we're going to slide this piece. To this part here. And I'm going to slide the other piece onto this part here and then adjust accordingly. So this will probably go over the top. So this pretty much goes over the top and then what they say I think is that you put it on the inside as you as you put it onto your head. Uh, but again you don't have to have this strap and we'll try it with and without and see uh, which is the most uh, uh, comfortable. And I think you've got a this uh, Velcro pad here um, might go on the wheel so you can actually attach uh, this to the back and then uh, this Velcro can then stick hopefully and uh, see it sticks to the back end. So we'll probably try that in a minute and see. So we got fixes on both sides, head ring, complete the installation. When you adjust the right distance, you can put on the Velcro to fix the position to prevent sliding. So we put Velcro straps like this around to stop um, this part from sliding back and off the headset. So what we'll do, we'll get as far forward as we can. So I reckon this probably needs to be roughly about here, just on the edges of, um, of this. So let's just try this on, um, bring this back. Gonna need the mask back on as well.
Oh, this feels good. So I found that you kind of need to have these arms just further back, just inside the um, audio output ports. So this edge here, just in line with this port here. It's quite difficult for the camera to see. And then um, also another guide is for when this strap is tight, you almost want it to follow the contour because if you have this uh, piece any further forward by moving these arms forward, this is going to create extra pressure as it comes over. And ideally, you want it on the outside and not the inside, otherwise you're going to get strap mark uh, on this band here. You want just your forehead contacting with this, nothing else really, for the best comfort. And, um, and I think this needs room to breathe as well. Uh, and the further back you have, the more uh, chance you can actually uh, have room for this to go forward and back for different heads. So this is quite important if you actually want to share it, uh, the headset with other people, uh, because every headset, everyone's head is different. So uh, ideally, you kind of want this um, to have lots of uh, maneuverability. And I'm finding that on its resting spot, it kind of follows the contour of my mask here, which is the Kiwi mask uh, that I've got on here, the vented one. Um, obviously that might change in the future, but majority of masks are gonna stop at this point. So uh, this, is, this just makes it look a little bit nicer. And this should really be going around the back of your head, just like the original um, strap should be, and not anywhere higher. So I'm gonna fix these uh, Velcros to this point and, um, and then finish up the installation. I'm actually gonna put these on this way, because I think that's how you're meant to do it. And then tuck it into the um, audio slot. That might affect sound at some point, but it's really not gonna be uh, a night and day change. It's just a nicer, neater way of doing this. So put them in like that and then bend this over and then tuck it into the port hole at the back inside. That's the best neater uh, direction. So that's cool. So that's all neatly done. And that's all neatly done. It's all tucked in. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and actually fix uh, this to the to the back here because I think it just makes sense whether that's meant to be done I'm not entirely sure the the manual doesn't really say I'm just going to stick this on the back just as we've got something to stick on at the back and also might help if we've got a battery pack you could probably attach it to the back of this velcro potentially so let's get this straight and it's a 3M sticker as well, so it's not going to leave any residue when uh, you peel this off if you think this is not the best place for it. So with this strapped on your head, you can then bring this strap over and then basically attach it to the Velcro at the back, nice and secure. And um, you can almost lift this up with that attached to it. So that's good. All right, so I'm going to play around now and get the right fit, and then I'll report back in the video uh, on my findings. All right. See you in a bit, bye. Right, so we're back in uh, the office after playing a little bit of a session on the Quest with the Halo head strap. This is the head strap properly fitted now that you might not have seen. Uh, we've got the um, Velcro straps um, on the inside to stop it from sliding back. It shouldn't go any further forward really. Uh, we've got the uh, head strap band attached with Velcro piece that came with uh, the items that in the box. And what I found was it's better to do it on the inside. So as you put it on, you kind of almost have your finger on the back here. And as you put it on, you bring the, the band over and then attach it to the Velcro at the back. The Velcro is not really going to do much extra, it just keeps it out of the way. Um, but uh, 
having these uh, these um, bars forward, it really does determine um, how close you want to be to your mask. If you have it too further away, it feels like it's floating, uh, and you can probably not do it up as tightly once you have this at its most extreme value. But um, sliding them a little bit further forward uh, makes everything a little bit tighter, um, less wobble. There is definitely uh, some uh, wobble in here from left to right, up and down, not as much, but if I've got, if you've got a um, nose piece like I have here from um, AMVR, uh, you can feel the nose ridge uh, hit each part of the bridge of my nose when I sort of shake. But how often you're going to do that and actually feel it in the heat of the action, I don't really know. So. Um, it does definitely give you pressure um, at the back and obviously at the top of the head now, rather than um, on the cheekbones. That is definitely lifted off of my cheekbones with this um, top piece. And I knew that was gonna be the case, which is why I was pursuing the review of this. But, and that's my biggest gripe with the Quest is the, the cheekbone um, part. But I've played Box VR and I've played um, uh, a bit of uh, Beat Saber and also uh, some In Death where you kind of like rushing around. In Death is a bit more intense, Beat Saber is not so much, but Box VR is definitely intense. Didn't really have any issues really. Um, definitely sweaty and you do get a lot of sweat on this band here. It's not that very breathable, but because it's uh, this kind of like pleather material, you can just wipe it down, which is great. It's not foam that's gonna get absorbed. Um, that's not gonna absorb the, the uh, sweat on your forehead. Um, the rear strap is textured, so it adds a little bit of air that, that way. It's a good thickness. So it doesn't really um, feel uncomfortable at the back of the head. If it does, and it did at one point, and um, you really do have to bury this at the, the very back edge of your head so it's taking that force there and you can see I've got a little bit of quest face but normally I get ridges here from uh, the VR cover um, edge edging here and I didn't get that after about half an hour of um, play on, on this quest so um, that's a good sign and um, a pro for the halo strap so look out for our review on okplay.com and uh, I'll let you know if it's fully a thing to go for or to avoid. Oh, and another thing is that you can, um, if you take this off, to store it away, it's nice that this actually, um, actually, it does fold flat. You can probably fold it inwards, which is better. And that just makes it a little bit nicer to stow away, I find. And you could probably bring that strap over and actually tuck it in. And it partially, uh, covers the sensor, the uh, the lenses too, to stop anything from coming out and hitting the lenses. This is a nice uh, value add if anyone were to touch this, if you've got this carrying anywhere. Obviously, this is the tall portion now, so it's definitely not going to fit in a in a, the official Quest case. I'll have a go and see if actually it's possible, but um, I highly doubt it will do now. But I I rarely uh, use the um, the official case now. This is basically hanging up in the office now. Um, that's pretty much it. It doesn't stop any other means of um, functionality in the Quest. Everything's all very accessible. Um, the ports are still accessible on both our, uh, edges. It's not going to damage it that way. I played it without any earphones and the audio still works just as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a good little piece of kit if you're looking for a way to get a little bit of weight off the front of your Quest. All right. Look out for a full review on okplay.com and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.